Hello Game Movies community, I'm here at the AMD booth with Robert. Robert, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. So uh, let's take a tour with uh, what uh, AMD has to offer uh, this year in E3. Okay, so this year as a company we're very, very big on gaming. Uh, all of our businesses at AMD are slowly shifting themselves to be focused on gaming. Every product you see here is running a game, from the smallest tablet to the laptops to the high-end graphics cards, right? So. Here, uh, for example, we have uh, a Radeon HD 7990, that is our $999 dual GPU graphics card, fastest graphics card in the world, running three beautiful HD TVs uh, on Bioshock Infinite, and this system is also running an AMD FX 8350 processor. So 8350 is the, it used to be the highest end uh, used with you to guys, be. Now, used to be. now there's some good news, we'll see, we'll see the good news on, yeah, on absolutely. what's the what's highest end uh, AMD uh, chip now. So if we, if we head right over here, we can see what the new high end is. This is the AMD FX uh, 9590. Out of the box, it runs at 5 gigahertz. So it's the world's first uh, 5 gigahertz processor. Out of the box, 5 gigahertz stock. Yes. yes. No clocking. No clocking. It's did you guys? Gigahertz. Did you guys try to clock it? Uh, we left it unlocked, and uh, you can do with it what you like. Do you expect someone to hit 7 gigahertz? Don't know. It's hard to tell. It depends on what kind of cooling they have, how good they are at overclocking. But uh, it's unlocked. It's eight cores, and it's 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz, you heard it right. So uh, pretty much the fastest clock rate with yeah. the most uh, amount of... Most amount of cores, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 8 cores, 8, yeah. eight cores. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And of course it's running this gorgeous Ifinity setup. Uh, so 5... Can, can, I, can I borrow it please? Uh, yes, come back next month. And I can borrow it? No, no. I, I, <laughs> only if I get mine first. <laughs> I, I have an AMD uh, Ifinity setup with 3 screens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite talling, and to see five screens is all 1080p, right? Each one. Yeah, each one is 1080p. Uh, they are 65-inch displays. 65-inch, 1080p, 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 1080p. That's right. So that's all. T that's a huge amount of pixels running yes. uh, at the same time. You're powering it with which graphics card? Uh, it's another AMD Radeon HD 7990. Again, uh, it's a dual GPU apart, fastest in the world. And uh, I think we have 16 gigs of RAM in there, uh, an amazing power supply from Corsair, just a really beast of a system. And the whole thing was assembled by Main Gear, which is a system builder in the United States that puts together high-end PCs. That, that's really awesome. And uh, this system is uh, stock, no clocking, right? That's correct, yes. It's all stock. Yep. So uh, if, if a customer or a consumer just bought an AMD chip, uh, what is it again, the, the, the model number? It's the AMD FX 9590. If they bought that processor in this video card, they could they do what you see here. They will get this setup here. Yes. Yeah? yes. But, but they'll have to have a deep pocket to get the, these screens. All five displays. But exactly. if you have a deep pocket for these screens, you can do this setup. All right, what do we have next? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted not to leave, but... Uh, oh, it's beautiful. All right, <laughs> so over here, our buddy Jason, he's one of our experienced experts at AMD. He's setting up a, a, a bio, I'm sorry, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, which is a game that's partnered with us in uh, the AMD Gaming Evolve program. So you know how we give games away for free in a bundle. Yeah. This is one of those games, so he just finished setting up the demo there. Okay. And then uh, we have some mobile parts over to our right here, uh, such as the Asus U38N. On the counter over here, it's an ultra-thin laptop running of one of our new uh, third-gen AMD A-Series APUs. Can we take a closer yeah, look absolutely. at that? Yeah, let's head over there. So it's an APU, right? Yes. So this is the Asus U38N. It's ultra-thin, you can see, and it weighs less than about two and a half pounds. So very light, very thin. And we have loaded it up with many games. Games run very well on this. Now, it is a productivity sort of notebook, but the advantage of the APU is that you can play games, games. when you're done working. <laughs> so that's what this notebook is for. Uh, what's uh, what's the equivalent uh, of the desktop version, you would say, for, for this, just to get a clearer kind of comparison? Equivalent uh, in terms of graphics potential? or And, and the CPU, would you know that? Uh, it's, it's hard to say because it's such to compare. Yeah, yeah this I is a, a, a four or eight watt processor, so very yeah, small, very, very small, light, yeah. and it's there really is no equivalent on the desktop. This is a chip specifically made for products of this, this size. Is, this is a productivity uh, based uh, chip and all, but uh, what, what can we expect in terms of gaming performance? Low settings, medium settings, high settings, ultra settings? You're looking at low to medium on a low, like this, low but, to medium. Know, at, at 1080p, right? So you're gonna get high resolution and yeah. you're gonna be able to play the latest games. So it's basically, it's for work and you have an excuse to play games. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, what's the price point though? Uh, you know, I cannot remember the price point on that, I'm sorry. No, it's yeah. fine. 
Uh, and then, you know, we have some other fine examples. Actually, let's come over here to this MSI notebook. Okay. This is the MSI GX70 notebook. The GX70 contains an AMD A10 APU. It is our fastest accelerated processing unit, but it also has the AMD Radeon 8970M. That is the fastest mobile graphics card in the world. So, so uh, I heard uh, an 8 in there. So you launched the 8000 series a while back, right? For the 8000M Yes, for, for mobile products, for laptops, we are on the 8000 series, and it is the 8000M. I have a tricky question. Sure. All the people at home are waiting for this one. What's, when are we expecting the 8000 series? Right now we're focused on the 7000 series, but when we're ready to communicate more, of course we will. Sorry. <laughs> um, Hope, hopefully one day we'll, we'll, we'll see it one day soon. We, we will definitely be talking about our next gen products eventually. We will be getting there, I promise you that. Okay, yep. that, that's, that's a nice promise to hear. Yep. Um, so back to the laptop. Uh, it's, uh, you partnered with MSI to, to uh, yes. ship them with... with yeah, yeah, MSI was our premium part, introduction partner with it, this product, with the 8970M. Uh, this is the best of the best. It's, it's our best APU, it's our best mobile graphics card. And it's all in this one package with 1080p display. Uh, you can order an SSD with it. You can get two SSDs in it. Uh, it comes with eight gigs of RAM. This is a really amazing notebook to take to LAN parties. Uh, does it switch between using just the APU when you just need to use some productivity and then switch to the graphics when you run a game? Yes, it uh, features our technology called AMD Enduro, which allows the APU to take over. And if you're just doing desktop work, you get a surprisingly high number of hours of battery life out of it, like four or five hours, just because it's not using the discrete graphics, graphics card. card. Yeah. That, that's great, because APUs can actually uh, stand ground and, and run whatever you want in terms of productivity, uh, while if you need the extra punch of graphics, yep. you, can, you can just get the uh, card to run. So what's, what's next? All right, let's take you over here to these two systems sitting on the counter. And so we announced yesterday that Battlefield 4 was exclusively optimized for AMD Radeon graphics cards, oh. AMD FX CPUs, and AMD A-Series APUs. So when Battlefield 4 launches for the PC, it's all AMD. So, so the choice platform is gonna be AMD is gonna for be Battlefield for, 4. Exactly right. And so these two systems, uh, I'm sorry, just this system, is uh, a copy of the systems that we have installed over at this year's Battlefield 4 installation at the EA booth. So all the multiplayer demonstrations that they've been doing here at E3 uh, were run exclusively on AMD Radeon products, and this is one of the systems that they were running. So they have like 64 players yes, uh, they do. over there, all running this system. What's the system? So this one is a uh, an AMD Radeon, I believe that's a, yep, that's a 7990, so another one of the uh, dual GPU graphics cards. Uh, some of them also have two AMD Radeon 7970s, so same graphics horsepower. Yeah. And then there's a, an AMD 8350, the FX chip, yeah. and also eight gigs of RAM. So even with the 8350, you're still pretty much uh, gonna run uh, Battlefield 4 smoothly. Yes, I mean, Battlefield uh, 4 is designed for that processor. I mean, we're gonna show the viewers now just a, some footage uh, of, of the game running with, uh, with the players, and you can see it's running smooth. You have also one setup, a very interesting setup, the Commander, uh, screen and yes. uh, the multi screen. Is that, is that using any sort of Affinity technology or anything, or is it just a? No, it, I believe it's a. I don't don't quote me on this because I'm not sure. Oh. But I, it seems like a web interface that connects with the game. All right, so, on All a right. tablet, yeah. But, but uh, I love I love how the game was running smooth. Uh, I took it for granted for running smooth, but apparently now we know which system is powering it. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're looking at making a new build for Battlefield 4, then uh, you can see the performance we're showing you on screen and you hear that you just heard the specs. So uh, is that all for uh, AMD this year? That basically concludes it. I mean, the, the key thing that I wanna take away here is that as a company, we, we are all about gaming at this point. You know, I showed you notebooks, I showed you graphics cards, processors, and we're breaking clock speed records, we're breaking performance records with our graphics cards, we're partnering with the best games like Battlefield 4, uh, we, we're giving away loads of free games right now with the Never Settle Reloaded bundle when you buy a graphics card. You're also giving away something really nice over there. I got one yesterday. What yeah. is it? Uh, we are giving away AMD 660K, A8660K APUs. So pretty much you're set, you're set for the CPU and GPU with their APUs. You yep. just got to buy them the motherboard, exactly the right. RAM and the other stuff and then exactly you're right. set. Yep. Yeah, there's a huge queue over there just waiting for that. So oh, yeah, uh, people are lined up all over just to get one. I think we didn't speak about the uh, new A10 series, actually. I can speak a little bit about it. So I'm in the graphics business, but uh, 
the, the new A10 is based on a platform we call Richland. That was the, the code name. And it, it combines our, our latest CPU cores uh, with our best process refinements at our factories. So when you're buying that chip, you get a great graphics chip, you get our newest processor, and you get ultra efficient power consumption. And we, we made it for both the desktop and mainstream notebooks, like uh, I'm talking 15 inch portable notebooks, but not ultra portables. We have a different categories of chips for those. Uh, I actually have a few A10s at home, uh, and I gotta say, I gotta vouch for this, is that uh, if you're gonna look for building a small rig, yes. you know, compact design, yeah. those are the way to go, I think. Absolutely, and if, if you wanna build a home theater PC, that one APU chip will decode every video codec on the market at 1080p, so I'm talking H.264, VC1, any anything that you could load up with a Blu-ray. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty much great offering from AMD. Thank you so much, guys, and we hope to see you next year with more products, and I'll be waiting for the 8000 series, yeah? I'm waiting we'll so much. We'll talk about next-gen soon. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll, yep. uh, we'll hear something soon from you guys. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.